What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video of Young Legend. Hope you guys can enjoy this video as always. Hashtag Zoe Zoe Love. Young Legend. In today's video, we are playing Dungeon Quest. Welcome back to it. Y'all have not seen any Dungeon Quest videos in the past couple of months. And y'all have not seen anything Dun uh, Roblox related. We have been on other games, other titles. Uh, titles like Warzone, Apex Legends, and you name it. But I found myself back and I was like, you know what? Let me triple back in. All right. And let's see how this is. So I triple back in on Dungeon Quest. Dungeon Quest has an update and it's a Halloween update. So right now I'm rocking. I grinded it. All right. Wow, wow, wow. All right. I grinded it to get the. Um, to get the skins if you don't know if you if you didn't play dungeon quest in a while there's like a halloween event um i'm me myself i'm late but i still like i said tripled in and i got some skins the witch one i got evil ducky one onesie i don't have it yet who knows maybe i will get it after um when i get what i want i got the reaper and the blanket ghost that's what that's the one that i wanted so i have it if you haven't seen the streams, go watch them and you're going to see the full grind, how I grinded it and how long it took me to grind because I was also in between busy with other things, otherwise it would go faster. Keep that in mind. But now, I want the even pumpkin staff, that's all I want for now. And maybe the hunt, haunted, uh, maybe the haunted title or the devilish, that's kind of nice too, right? But in today's video, I want to show you guys um, like a... Maybe a beginner's guide. Let's do a beginner's guide, right? Let's do a beginner's guide part one. So this is for the people that play Dungeon Quest but don't have a clue when you are around level 50, 60, 70 and you don't know what to do. You'll be like, Whoa, where's my DPS, right? How do I do this? How do I do that? Well, I've played Dungeon Quest and I leveled up a bunch of players and they sit, sit above me. Some of them are level 200 right now. 200 plus or some of them are in the 90s 190s right my level is 196 but see me as a level 200 because i level up a lot of players and i le never leveled up myself which is stupid i know i know it's stupid but i did it all right now i'm here to help you to get your dps up so first things first i'm going to the start uh sparring target and explain why you should test your dps on a sparring target um in the beginning as a level one there's also like a level one thing how how do you want to set it up like most of the players they don't know like uh what these sparring targets are like this one is for advanced means that your dps is higher than a certain amount of damage and the novice one is because it's lower than so if i go here Probably I won't do any damage here because I will. I am one-shotting them so hard that the game doesn't even register this damage anymore, right? So that's why uh, it's like that, right? This is for low-level players and this is for uh, higher-level players. Right now, the same targets and I'm hitting them, okay? So keep that in mind. That's a tip that you maybe didn't know. Um, all right, let's go into how to spec. The people, if you play this game, you don't have a clue what you're doing. You, you tripled in, you, you, you're you running around like a headless chicken thinking about what is going on here. All right, the first thing which you have to do is that click on your inventory. This is, this is gonna be your main section of leveling. The more you do dungeons, the more you get items. Dungeons give warrior items, guardian items, and also mage items, which you can combine being like a paladin a battle mage or a warrior or a tank right guardians are basically tanks but guardian also can be like a battle mage because guardian also has magicka so don't think only guardians can be tank no a paladin is basically a guardian with spell powers so guardians are also good for healing and doing damage how do you what do you choose first so in order to like make a decision you have to think about yourself do you like warrior or mage that's your decision i am a mage 
So I love to do spell damage. And also, most mages in this game can heal themselves. Warriors cannot heal themselves. You, you are able to heal yourself, but then you have to uh, release some damage in order to, to do some damage, to do some healing work. So think about that. So how does that work? Again, you will click on your inventory. You, you as a new person, this will be empty. You, you can see your gear and also you can see the skills. So here are your skills. So let's say you just begin as a level one. You, will, you won't have any skill points, maybe one or two, probably. I don't know. Um, probably you won't have none. So you level up. Um, let's just say you have five skill points. I recommend you in the beginning, don't spend it on health. Spend it on a on physical if you are a warrior or spell if you are a mage. The reason why is because in the beginning you are you you are getting an, like an AOE ability, which is uh, very helpful for you to try to group up the targets and one shot them basically. And you will one shot them if your DPS is up. What is DPS? Damage per second, right? So. If that is a little bit high, you will destroy some players. But if it's low, you won't destroy anything. Like, they will destroy you. That's that's it. The same with physical damage, the same with spell damage. Stamina means health. So, you can do, like, if you have five skill points, you can put, like, one in stamina, which is your health, and four into spell damage or physical. You can do that. That's basically the route to go if you are able to, right? So if you have that on the hand, like, all right, the skill points, how to set the skill points. So this is the way how you set skill points. So, and now let's just do a first dungeon. So the first dungeon that you're gonna get is Desert Temple. It starts from easy, medium, hard, insane, and nightmare. Hardcore means the dungeon, um, it is a theory that people say, if you do a hardcore, you will get more XP. Probably so, or probably not. Everybody is thinking the same thing yes or no but hardcore means the mobs are a little bit stronger and you're gonna get more loot what is loot loot is what the game drops for you it can be gear it can be um a weapon or gear as weapon or armor or it can be an ability mage or warrior or guardian so it's like a rng thing right so it's random you could say so let's try a dungeon so we're going to queue up. There's a temple, the first one. And for sake of this video, y'all think maybe it's easy. Let's try Nightmare because you will be a lower level. You're not on Nightmare yet. So I want to show you how Nightmare is. So it's basically it's the same for me, like easy, medium, hard, more insane Nightmare. So because I do a lot of damage. Um, but I will show you like what the Nightmare is. And that's it. So we're clicking. Um, then we play. So we, you queue up based on your internet, how fast you're loading in. Um, you can do some missions or some quests, basically back to back to back. All right. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Anyways, uh, we're getting in. On this part of the video, like the video, comment down below if this video is helpful. This is part one of a tutorial telling you guys uh, from my sp uh, from my way how i should w would do it if i was level one so and if you maybe if you guys want to see like make a making fresh account from zero to whatever i will do that <laughs> gladly i will show you how to level up and how to do stuff from zero to whatever level all right so the abilities that i'm using right now is i'm using pulse wave uh pulse wave is a speed momentum ability so it's, it makes me make me go faster this is how it looks you have seen it maybe before if you look at dungeon quest videos or your friend is streaming i don't know this is pulse wave it is it makes you faster and you are clearing dungeons really fast as a much higher level than a level zero so here we go we're clicking on it you, you uh look around this is the door opening it will open and now it says start you have a timer and now you see hardcore hardcore will say if the mobs um uh let's say destroy you you are going back to the lobby so if you do hardcore make sure your dps is your damage is good and you have good gear because if you don't do that you you are going to 
you're going to not like the game because you're gonna get beat 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 and you're gonna you're not gonna like the game and you're gonna maybe quit the game so make sure that if you that's that's with any dungeon if you keep getting destroyed by these mobs and your, your damage is not good try to go lower or try to the dungeon without hardcore because you're still getting xp so that's a good tip if you didn't think about that so right now we we're going inside we're running around again pulse wave is um is wrecking these guys really easy so i will go around so you guys have a clue how it works right now it's, it isn't really fair to show you guys on a higher level how it is because it's not really um a good really a good option to show you guys how to do it but i will give you like if you understand like uh, on the low level protect uh, like view of point you will get it so you run around uh door two opens you see some more enemies they will aggro on you so as soon as you walk the aggro is automatically so you don't need no tank or anything all of them will come to you as here they will stand up you can group them up so if if, if they want aggro they will follow you the whole um the whole dungeon keep that in mind they will not stop aggro from you if it's already done they will follow you so the another door opens and here again i can show you aggro one so here you can pile them up as soon as you walk in the middle the, the other guys are going to be aggro too the guy in the middle going to be aggro so if you do this uh make sure you are you have a little bit of health uh which is stamina and you can one shot them like this boom see so that's you can do that but since i have full wave um as soon as they aggro they will not be able to come in my era or in my arena so on that's it you keep climbing up um the portals or door how you want to call them they they will open they will open they will open and at the last part there will be like a boss so as you can see also on the, the numbers flying that's your xp we are gaining per mob or per monster you are gaining xp 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 so that's that will level you up and again some more xp and some more xp and some more xp and then you have the sand giant also what i want to say uh that any dungeon that you play has a 10 percent 20 percent chance of dropping a cosmetic i want to say that because you never know probably you can get that one so uh if you click on the tab it says cosmetic um let me move this a little bit to the side it says cosmetic here you, you click on it and you will see a page um these are um enhanced titles which you can get in the game these are weapon skins um seasonal ones or also you can get it in the game uh, you have armor sets uh seasonal ones or you can get them for free in the game with the 10 percent chance that it drops uh seasonal ones like snowman santa all that stuff they will they will uh be able to get from the vendor that you're getting right now is a it's a team like halloween so i have 78 but also with christmas there will be like snow flags or whatever it is that you're getting as currency and you will get that currency for uh if you get enough you can get it titles uh, indicates that how long you play the actual dungeon or how good are you and how good are you with destroying that full dungeon godly pirate means the godly thing means over 300 waves you did in that dungeon 300 waves yeah that seems like a long time but if you play with a friend that has good damage and your friend is pretty good you guys will easily do it easily no easy so that being said so there are cosmetics or skins you can call them so this this boss is coming out of me and he destroyed and oh so <laughs> the golden one that you guys see here is a legendary and the green one is just an item over legendaries i didn't sp i spoke about legendaries uh legendaries are um also a chance uh that it drops so you got to be lucky with it you have to be really really lucky with it that it drops so i'm trying to get back into the game pardon me or my server but a legendary it 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 is a chance that it drops and in this video i was just lucky that it dropped for me uh which is very convenient yeah i don't know what to say about that i'm kind of happy but 
is not really doing to me anything because it's a lower level but i am collecting legendaries so who knows maybe i will give this legendary to a lower level player that is watching this video right now or a person that is collecting legendaries because i am a collector so but you have seen i, I had two items the game gave me a gold item and a green item the green item is a weapon it's really a weapon so what do you do with that weapon so we're gonna find the weapon and i think i need to know what that weapon is because i got so much guys i got so much but probably it was a level 21 it has to be a level 21 so probably it was the onyx staff probably um because that's the only weapon that i see right now as a lower level so the onyx staff that's the weapon that i have so if you guys want to see it i will i will um i will unequip it wait i will unequip and this no all right this is the staff how it looks i i still have a enhance on it so this is how it looks the glowing on the weapon is itself so this is how the staff looks and if you have the staff and there is like a upgrade station right um but that's gonna be for another video because uh, otherwise it's gonna be too much information to you to swallow in and this is about leveling and how to set up your skill points and also that how to get gear all right so i hope you guys enjoyed this video in the next video part two i will explain how to upgrade your gear and how to farm the best way and that being said yeah make sure you guys like comment down below if you guys found this video interesting and see you guys soon peace